Hey, Karen here. Today is all about how not to miss a plane. I actually have to uh, work in a place called uh, Stavanger in Norway, and it's gonna take me three planes to get there. Three countries, three planes in one day, and I don't have a lot of time in connection times between the planes. Of course, the first thing you have to do is get to the airport nice and early if you want to get the plane. I still try to get there at least two hours just for local flights, absolutely three hours for any international flights. You just never know what the traffic's going to be like. So I'm sitting on the shuttle now off on my way to Gatwick Airport. If you have to catch a series of planes and you have a connecting flight, it's really, really helpful to stick with the same airline because if one of the planes is late or you're missed, then that airline is obliged to find you an alternative flight. Big tip clearly is don't have check-in baggage. If you have to catch connecting flight, please just have hand luggage. Make sure you remember to bring a bit of currency to the country that you're actually traveling to. And do that ahead of time because you do not want to get money from these places. Airport exchange places are the absolute worst and you lose a lot of money by changing your money here. My favorite place, Tesco's. It is worth five pounds to have priority boarding through security. That could save you like half an hour, 45 minutes. One thing you have to be obsessive about, obsessive, is to constantly be checking the departure gates. Obsessive. A lot of people don't know this, but planes actually can leave earlier than their departure time. And they don't have to wait for everyone to be on the plane. Obsessive. And when you have a connecting flight, it's really, really helpful to make sure that you ask the flight attendants when you're on plane number one and say, I have to get to plane number two. What's the easiest way of doing that? Especially if you're going to an airport that you are not familiar with. I do this all the time because the flight attendants are used to landing those airports and they say, oh, it's very, very well marked. Or as soon as you get off the plane, turn right. They give you all kinds of little hints like that. Plane number one, flight to Copenhagen. You have to check the gate and then you check it again and then you keep checking it and you keep checking it. Plane number two, Copenhagen to Oslo. about checking the departure gate. A slug of the journey. How do you know you're in a Scandinavian hotel? Two clues. One is single duvets on a double bed. Oh my God, I was freezing all night. I hate that. And the second clue has to do with the door. It opens out instead of in. Only in Scandinavia.
And just like that, I'm back in London. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>